Hi everyone, this is a first pass look at Meta's new Threads app. It's meant to be a text-based social media app that's a rival to Twitter. I've just got the app uh, early this morning, 6th of July, so taking a quick look at it and I'll have a follow-up article to come as well. Let's dive in. Right, let's move over to Threads. So log in with Instagram. Let's tap that. Okay, I need a bio. I'm just going to get started with something very simple. That will do for the purposes of the test. Relentlessly helpful LinkedIn nerd. Add link. Okay, which link am I adding? Uh, let's put my website link in. Okay, so I've added the shortest bio in the world and a link to my website. And there's an option to import from Instagram. So is that all of my followers there. Let's give that a try. Importing your Instagram details will replace any edits you've made. Interesting. Okay, so we will just say okay to that. And there we go. Okay, so that's just changed a few things. It's updated my bio. I don't need to say I'm not on Instagram often. The rest of it is accurate. And there's a link to my Espresso Plus signing up page. So that's cool. Let's click next. Okay, privacy on threads and Instagram can be different. So you can choose a public or a private profile. Public for me. I get a chance to choose the same accounts that I'm following on Instagram. I followed a load of them just the other day. So I'm going to say follow all. Okay, some information about how threads works. Not a whole lot about the data. I know that they take a lot of information. I'm going to tap join. Okay, we'll allow notifications for now. And there we are. I am inside the app. Okay, so first thing I always do, tap the app logo at the top. Does that do anything? No, doesn't seem to. If I scroll down, I can see a feed. I can see several colleagues and other accounts. Here's one from Bobby. I was under the impression that this was going to be a text only app, but if you can add photos, then it really will be uh, no different to Twitter. Presumably you can add videos as well. Let's have a look. We have a search field. Okay. We have notifications at the bottom. Activity. I haven't done anything yet, so I shouldn't imagine this will be filled with anything. And then replies, mentions, and verified. Okay. I have my first follower after only a few seconds. I can go and look at my profile. So this is the profile view. So I have a globe icon in the top left. So that just confirms, I think, that it is a public account and I can switch to private. I don't want to do that. Mentions is set to everyone. There's no muted or hidden words yet. Profiles you follow. I'm not following anyone new other than all my Instagram followers. If I tap through to that, okay, I can see the people that I'm following. Okay, so it says 15 following. So that must be the 15 who have already created a presence on threads. Nothing in pending. Ah, okay, 32 pending. You'll start following these accounts when they join. Right, that's fine. Let's close that down. So I can edit my profile. I don't think there's going to give me any other fields that I haven't already seen. That's fine. I can share my profile. Yeah, okay, so that's the usual share panel. And I can see my threads and I can see replies. Okay. So there's settings in the top right corner. So I can follow and invite. Let's have a look at notifications. Right, so I can pause my notifications. I can change my settings for threads and replies. Uh, I can get notifications about new followers. Yeah, well, I don't need that right now. So I'm going to just turn that off. Let's see what's under privacy. Okay, I've been there before. 
So back on the main screen, the camera icon in the top right will, I think, link me back to Instagram, which I don't want to do right now. And finally, let's look at the button in the bottom middle, which will let me start a new thread. Okay, so it is a text environment and there's a little paper clip symbol there. Right, so let's just try. This is my first thread. If I tap the paper clip, okay, it wants to access my photos. Let's allow that. I've decided to put a photo of Poppy on threads. Let's see how this works. Okay, there we go. It's posting it now. Blanked out the background. And then I have options to like, comment, um, whatever the equivalent of retweeting is, presumably rethreading and sending in a direct message, I'm guessing, or sharing some other way. So I can hit like. Seems a bit weird to like your own thread, so I'll just take that off. I'll hit the comment, so I can add my own reply. I can rethread this. Okay, and it says repost or quote, so that's very much like Twitter. So reposting would just be a straight share back into your feed and quoting would mean that you could add some additional context. Doesn't really make sense for me to do that right now. If I if I just tap quote just to see what it looks like. Yeah, that looks exactly like Twitter. So the comment appears, the repost comment appears above the original. So nothing, nothing too incredible there. And the final button, the paper, Aeroplane. Okay, so these are sharing options. So I can add it to my story. I can post it to feed. I can tweet it. That's an interesting fact that they've even offered an integration to Twitter. I can copy the link and I can share it presumably with the iOS native sharing panel. What else can we learn about the interface? So at the top, I've got my username, which is just John Esperian without spaces. And then it says threads.net after it, which seems redundant. I think we already know that we're on threads. Maybe it's just a differentiator to make sure that you know where you are rather than being on Instagram. Perhaps Instagram and threads will be standardized so that they look very similar in the future. Have I got any replies? No. And I've got my threads there. And if I go back to home, okay. So here's an example from Beth, and it shows that she reposted something from Agora Pulse. I can see the number of replies, I can see the number of likes, so that's fine. Yeah, so it all looks very, very Twitter-like. Possibly a simplified version of this. I'm nerdily interested in LinkedIn, that's my platform, so let's just see who's saying what about LinkedIn here. Okay, so a search for LinkedIn is coming up with people to follow, but that's it by the looks of it. So can we search for topics? Mm. Let me just search more broadly. Let's try marketing. Okay, and again, it's just finding, it's finding people rather than finding topics. Let's give Leah a follow. Okay, and I see that Leah's got a blue tick next to her name. So this, so that means that a blue tick that you get on Instagram carries over to threads, I guess, the fact that that blue tick appeared next to Leah's name. And there's a bell in the top right corner as well on an individual account. So if I tap that, Okay, so I can get post notifications for a given creator. That's fine. I don't need that right now. So if I tap it again, that should turn it off. Yeah, that's fine. What else can I do? There's a three dot menu in the top right corner. Okay, so I can mute a person and I can restrict. I don't know what that is. 
um, I will take a look at that, maybe not in this video because I don't want to cause any problems for anyone. So I might just research what that means first. It's obviously not the same as blocking and reporting. So if I can't actually search for topics, then that limits me to discovering things in my feed. And the app icon at the top still doesn't do anything. I can see a notification at the bottom. So this confirms people who have followed me. I can also see a confirm and hide option for Bobby. So I think Bobby has requested that I follow him. So that's interesting. So I'll say confirm. I'm now following him. I'll do the same for Renford as well. Right. Okay. I know Don, so I'll certainly follow him as well. Uh, let's have a look at an account that I'm not yet following. Okay. So there's a follow back option and Karen hasn't posted anything yet, but I'll follow her back. Have I got any replies? No. So that is my first look at threads. I see that I can also install it on the iPad, even though the App Store did say it was an iPhone only app. So presumably it'll just be a scaled up version of the same. So I'm going to have a look to see whether there is anything different there. And maybe I'll report on that separately. Okay, that'll do for now. If you want to follow me on threads, it's at John Esperian. Check me out. I don't know how long I'm going to be active there, but I'm interested in trying a new social media app that's going to have loads of installed users from day one. Let's give it a whirl and see what happens. See you on there. Thanks.